Hi, I am Robbie Weber, and I wanted to make my five-minute film about racist implications on those who identify themselves as homosexual, bisexual, and straight. I will be conducting two to three interviews with volunteers to see how these issues have affected them and how our society may have leaned towards one or the other identifications in terms of hatred and ambiguity. I chose to do this to evaluate our society's change towards the fight over racial equality to identity equality. For over, for over 60 years, we as a nation have focused the fight of equality towards race. But in recent years, as race slowly becomes irrelevant in society and more accepted, identity has become a very prominent struggle. Homosexuality has been denied and fought over for many years and is now the next generation of rights to become the major issue. In these interviews, I wish to learn through three questions. One, their sexual orientation. Two, how long or how have the issues of race and sexual orientation factored into how they have been perceived in society? And finally, three, which issue has been more prominent in their lives up until now? Okay. All right, here we have Anthony Gomez. And what is your sexual orientation? I am gay. Okay. And have, so how have the issues of, uh, of race and sexual orientation affected you in society? Have you felt pressured? Have you felt anything related um, to that? I haven't been too pressured in society ever since I came out when I was a, a sophomore in high school. Um, it's actually been a lot easier with people to uh, accept it, and I haven't actually had a whole lot of issues in my life with it. Um, my family was extremely accepting of it, all my friends were, and I was never bullied or anything, and I don't think my race had anything to do with that as well. Did you feel any pressure race by culture or anything like that? Or? Um, I felt since I was, you know, a minority and I am Hispanic, that it was a little different. And I was like, of course, you know, I get looked down twice. I could get looked down twice for being gay and Hispanic, but um, no, it never really affected the situation at all. Cool. And uh, so which, which of the issues or just implications have affected you more? Have you felt more affected by being gay or by being racial at all? I would say uh, being more affected by being gay because um, that's something you have to tell somebody when, um, when you first meet somebody, obviously they can tell you're Hispanic, but they can't tell that you're gay at that moment. So it's a little more difficult trying to meet people and have more friends by having to tell them that and hope that they accept it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right. There is a difference in the struggle between race and homosexuality because race is predetermined by skin tone and therefore always known. As for homosexuality, it is the fear of coming out and openly identifying oneself as a homosexual. And as Anthony said, there is always the fear of being accepted. I wanted to take this time to contrast myself with Anthony, me being a straight white male. Question one, I am straight. Question two, I have never felt any pressure because of my race and sexuality, and I've had an accepting culture to if I was gay. As Anthony showed us, we are becoming a more accepting culture through what we have been through in the past. And as for question three, there's always the fear in accepting homosexuality in everyone because of society's pressure towards the individual. My hope is that this will change. My hope for this project is that people will accept those who have the courage to identify oneself as homosexual or bisexual and therefore win the same rights as the many races of people that fought the same fight. Here's to hoping.